Hi guys, in today's video I'm sharing with you all my recipe for curry crawfish. If you like curry crab and dumpling, then this is going to be your next favorite. Crawfish is in season right now and this was kindly sponsored by the folks of Food Down Supermarkets here in Davie, Florida. So head down to Food Down where you can get fresh live crawfish on the spot. So to make this, we're going to start with our pot on a medium heat. And to that pot, I have a piece of golden ray butter in there. The recipe for this can be found on my channel. I'm going in with some chili infused coconut oil from CGA Limited. And I'm adding in some methi or some fenugreek seeds. We want to allow that fenugreek or methi seeds to brown. After which, I'll go in with some chopped onions. Next, go in with one pimento pepper or you can use a hot pepper if you like, some minced or chopped garlic, and some chopped scallions or green onions, and saute until the garlic is light brown in color. The reason why we don't put the garlic together with the onion is because garlic tends to brown faster than onion and it would burn before the onion has a chance to get all of those sweetness to get the sweetness out of the onion so you always do the onion first next i'm going in with some mild curry powder and some duck and goat or spicy curry powder i like using a combination of two when i'm making curry crab or curry lobster we're going to toast this for about one minute After it's finished toasting for that one minute, I'm going to go in with some water to help cook the curry. So add in the water. It's going to be very runny at this point. And what you're going to do is cook down the curry with that water until it turns into a thick paste. And this is the consistency you would be looking for. Once it gets there, add in some green seasoning and mix that in. Now I'm going to add enough water to create our sauce for the crawfish and I'm going in with some coconut powdered milk and I'm going to whisk that in. I just want to make sure that there are no lumps in this. Once mixed in, you want to bring this up to a rolling boil. Next, go in with the crawfish. And yes, they're alive. I didn't know how to kill them prior or how to treat them prior to making this. So this was the most humane way that I found when they go into the hot liquid. So please guys, do not be offended in any way if I did not do it properly, but I did try my best here. All you have to do is allow these to cook down and let the sauce thicken. The crawfish itself is going to turn into a red color just like when you cook lobster or crab and once it gets there you'll know it's ready. So the sauce thickens, this is what it would look like. You want to taste and adjust your salt and then this is ready to be served. I will leave the dumpling recipe to go with this as an end card for you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave me your comments down below. If you make it, let me know how you make it. And I will see you all in my next video. Enjoy!